Adjustment layers are great ways to edit your photos non-destructively. You can think of an adjustment layer as a tinted glass. If you place a red tinted glass on top of a photo, the photo would look reddish, but we are not destroying the photo by applying red color on it. Adjustment layer works in a similar fashion. When you add an adjustment layer on top of a layer stack, it changes the look of everything beneath it. But none of the layers below are modified. Here I have a project with a few layers. Now if I want to do some color adjustments to the whole project, either I need to do it on each layer, or I need to save the flattened image, and then load it back, and do the adjustments on the flat image. But there is a much cleaner and flexible way of doing it. Just use an adjustment layer. In Superimpose X, you can add an adjustment layer from the same Add Layer menu. Here you can find a set of different adjustment layers. And I am going to choose the effect layer. I can select a color effect just like in the filters section. And then apply it. Now as you can see, the effect is applied to all the layers beneath it. I can even hide or show the layer to disable or enable the effect. This is a much better solution than flattening the image to apply the effect, or doing it on each layer separately. We can select the layer and use the Edit Adjustment option to go back and edit the layer properties. In this case we can change the effect. We can stack up more adjustment layers if we need. Let me add a vignette adjustment into the project. You can compare the image with and without the adjustment layer by holding onto this compare button here. Let me move the vignette layer beneath the effect layer so that the effect is applied on the image with the vignette. Just like a photo layer, you can also change the opacity and the blending mode of an adjustment layer. This gives you a lot more flexibility compared to applying the adjustment directly into a layer. And finally let me add a saturation layer on the top. I can now increase or decrease the saturation of the whole project with this adjustment layer. I can even make the photo grayscale if I want to. Which is pretty cool because I am not even touching anything beneath this layer. I am able to do all these changes to the project without touching any of the layers below, and I can also go back to any of the adjustment layers and modify them, and even change opacity or the blending mode, and this is why adjustment layers are so powerful. That is all in this tutorial. Thank you for watching.